Okay, we are going to linear the function x over 1 plus x squared at the a value 1. And here we have the formula already. Let's go ahead and get to work. First, let's compute f of 1. And that will just be 1 over 1 plus 1 squared. And that will just be 1 over 2. Pretty nice. Next, we have to get the derivative. And for this one, we will have to use the quotient rule. So here we go. f prime of x. Let's go ahead and square the bottom first. So we have 1 plus x squared and then square. All right, square the denominator. And we will just write down the bottom right here, which is 1 plus x squared. And we multiply this by the derivative of the top. The derivative of x is just equal to 1. And then continue, we minus the top function, which is x. And we multiply by the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of 1 plus x squared is 2x. So that's what we have, and perhaps we can clean things up a little bit, because this right here is just 1 plus x squared, and then we will have minus 2x squared over this denominator. And be sure you don't write this as 1 plus x to the fourth power. Don't do that. Just keep it as how it is. 1 plus x squared, and then squared. Do not multiply this and that, right? Just keep that in mind. And of course, we can combine this and that together, so this is just 1 minus x squared over parentheses 1 plus x squared squared. Okay, and then plugging 1 in here, and we see that f prime of 1, it's going to be a fun one, because if you put 1 right here, it gets 0, and let me show you guys all the work. 1 minus 1 squared over 1 plus 1 squared, and then squared. The top is just 0 over, the bottom is 4, and 0 over 4 will get 0. Yeah, so in fact, we are going to end up with the following. The linearization is going to be f of a, which is just 1 over 2. And then we add the derivative, which is 0, and we multiply by x minus the a value, which is 1. And in fact, the linearization is just going to be a horizontal line, and we just get 1 over 2. So that's pretty much the linearization. I will give you guys a picture real quick though, because for this one, uh, yeah, it's not the typical y is equal to mx plus b, because you don't see the x, right? But in this case, the m is just zero, that's why. So if you look at the graph of that, I will put it down right here for you guys. You will look like this, right? So when x is negative, you get negative, and then it goes down like this, and then it come back up and then like this, and then like that. When x is 1, right, when a is 1, you get a horizontal tangent line. So that's why the linearization is just 1 over 2, the horizontal line, and of course the equation in black is our function f of x equals x over 1 plus x squared.